Hey guys, today we are going to take a look the Blackmagic Micro Studio Camera G2 in a full rig. Before we get started, quick disclaimer, this is not a review video. So if you're looking for review for this camera, uh, this is not it. And please excuse my crappy English and my awkwardness. All right, with that being said, let's get started. So here it is guys, the Blackmagic Micro Studio Camera 4K G2. No. Unfortunately, uh, it does not come with a uh, license for DaVinci Resolve software. But let's take a look. A welcome card here. And the camera itself. This camera can shoot 12 bit of Blackmagic RAW to USB-C. It has the same sensor as the Pocket 4K. It has 13 stops of dynamic range and it also has a dual native ISO. I'm going to show you how I built my rig and uh, show you everything from the start to finish. We're gonna need the camera battery, the gauge, an external monitor, side handle, base plate, SSD holder, SSDs, the lens, last but not least, that feather with the screwdriver. I'm just kidding, but we gonna need this little guys right here. So I'm just gonna put to the side so this is uh, basically all what I need to build my rig I'm gonna put a link for everything you see here down in the description let's get started Now we are going to need some help from Dart Feather. The next step, put the base plate on. This one is quite tricky because of the cable right there. Alright, so why I put this one first? Because now I can kind of see how big the gap here is. It has to be big enough so my thumb could fit in there. There, I think that's just good. Sorry, that feather. Can I borrow this one fish?
SSD HDMI cable from Condor Blue Put the battery on Downside is uh, this button right here is kind of difficult to access and especially the record button this is it the black magic true box camera